Welcome to episode 2 of our Let's Play Championship Manager 0102 series on Boss United FM. The first episode was a reintroduction to the classic game, but now we're ready to start our conference campaign with Boston United. We've played a few friendlies all against fellow Lincolnshire sides, including Football League duo Scunthorpe United and Lincoln City. As you can see, we've gone unbeaten so far, with just a home game against Grantham Town to go before we host Farnborough Town in our opening conference fixture next week. Let's pick the team for this final friendly and hopefully sign off pre-season with another win. Right, so we've still got Glenn Knight on trial, someone who's been brought in and has played a couple of games, not really impressed me too much. So it's definitely going to be Paul Bastock in goal. At right back, we've still got Patrick Kelly on trial, but I think he wants a little bit too much money from what I remember. So he wants squad rotation, but then he wants 140k a year, which we're not going to be paying. So Mark Clifford can play at right back. At uh, left back, it's between Gould and Lodge. We've had Ullathorne on trial, the former Norwich player. He used to play for Leicester as well, and Osasuna. But he also wants a little bit too much money. So it's going to be James Gould to play at left back. At centre back, we can't really ignore Mark Freeman. He's had three ratings of eight. And then alongside him, Ellender's going to play defensive midfield. Um, so it's basically going to be out of Howarth and Ross Weatherstone. And it's probably going to be Howarth. We need to put Ellender in his central midfield defensive role. And then in terms of the three central midfielders, we're going to go for Marsh, Weatherstone and Costello. And then up front, I'm just lucky. We've got Gordon Watson on trial, another former top-level striker. Play for Sheffield Wednesday, Southampton and Bradford. But I can't really not play Daryl Clare and Ken Charlery. And then Jez Murphy's going to be the backup on the bench with Elding and Town really just waiting for their chances. So that's the starting 11. We can still choose nine substitutes for these friendlies. So let's put Knight on the bench just in case. Um, Lodge, Weatherstone, Rusk. Brown, so we've still got four players to choose from, so we'll probably put two strikers on the bench, so if we choose those now, so we'll go for Jez Murphy and David Town for those, so we've still got two players there to choose. What I might do is just have a look in the reserve squad, see if we've got any midfielders to pick. Let's just have a quick look, so yeah, we've got Stuart Fergus and Andrew Long, I think I might just promote those. So we've got a couple of right backs in there, another central defender or two. Brian Hardy's a winger, same as Elwick. So you've got Long as an attacking midfielder, and then there's Hart, Eaton and Snedden as strikers. But I think Stuart Fergus, let's just have a look at his ratings. OK, he can't really pass the ball, but he's got a bit of pace, a bit of flair, a bit of technique. Can take a set piece. Yeah, let's... Let's put him into the seniors. And let's have a look at Andrew Long. Now he's someone who's a little bit better. Only 15 as well. So he might be one for the future. Let's get him in on the bench. Now let's pick those two. So there's Fergus. And there's Long. Well let's continue the game. Proceed to the match. And we'll kick off. Should hopefully be quite a comfortable win. And there we go. Costello puts us ahead after three minutes. 2-0 up after 19. There's Charlery. We're definitely in the ascendancy. We are putting out a full strength team. As we go 3-0 up. Almost half time. Probably make a couple of changes. 4-0 half-time. Right. So this 4-1-3-2 does seem to be quite a good formation. I do vaguely remember it being one of the more popular formations when the game was out. But let's have a look. So I think we can probably bring Jez Murphy on. Now he's someone who's got really good attributes. If you look, finishing 10, acceleration of 19, flair of 18, technique of 19, work rate 18. He might force his way into the side. 
but let's get him out there instead of Claire. What I might do then is actually give Long his debut because he's got the good attributes. Um, right, we're going to replace Weatherstone. He's going to play in that middle role. And then in other players will put Lodge on at left back. So Freeman's not had a good first half. There's me singing his praises before the game. So Ross Weatherstone can come on for him. We'll leave it like that for now. We've made four substitutions. We'll kick off again. Hopefully get a couple more goals. Having plenty of shots, just nothing going in. Let's have a look at the statistics. 16 shots, 9 on target. Going through to full time and we win 5 0. There must have been a goal right at the end there. There's Murphy, 84 minutes. The only game that was played. Let's have a look. Board of directors are pleased with a 5 0 victory. Absolutely, it rounds off pre-season. Very good pre-season. Plenty of goals. OK, we've played a few weaker sides, but we've also drawn with Scumthorpe. Who, if you look, they are in the, the third division alongside Lincoln. And Albeit Scumthorpe have lost their first game of the season. And Lincoln have won theirs, but we actually beat Lincoln by three goals to two. If you look at the overview, we went 3-0 up fairly early on, 36 minutes. They got one back just before half-time, another one just before the hour, but we held on. Very impressed with that result. Right, let's go forward. So Patrick Kelly is now left because his trial period has expired. Monnington should be back in a week. Rusk has injured himself and he'll be out for two weeks. There's Knight in his trial period gone. And then Snedden, the youth player, he's also out for three weeks. So the reserves lost. Here's all the trials ending. Right, so we've got a recommended player. So this is Scott McNiven of Oldham. But it doesn't look like he's on any transfer list or loan list. So I don't think we're going to be getting him. So Long's now out for a few days. So he got an 8 in his 45 minutes. Fantastic. He's not 16 until November. Right, here we go. Opening day of the season. So it's going to be Bastock in goal. Gould at left back. Clifford right back. So there's Monaghan. He's only 63% condition. So it's definitely going to be Freeman and Howarth. With Ellender in defensive midfield. And then the midfield trio of Marsh, Weatherstone and Costello. And then... I'm actually going to go for Murphy and Charlery up front and just drop Claire because if you look at the average ratings recently, they're the two standout performers. Right, five subs for this. So that's going to be Lodge, Weatherstone, Brown. See, I don't really want to play the wingers, the left wingers, because we don't play left wingers. I might play Cook. Literally because I know that he can play up front as well. And he might be able to do a job like in this position here. Or possibly even at left back if need be. But then we're going to have Lodge on the bench anyway. But yeah, we'll, we'll go for that I think. Right, let's change the commentary speed to very slow. Now we're into competitive action. And see how we get on. Should we have to zoom through these games? Right, we've got an injury at right back. One of the places where we don't have anybody. So, I reckon we're going to play Ross Weatherston there. See how he gets on. Let's resume the game. Got a few attacking moves. There we go. Lee Howarth scores 22 minutes in. 1-0 up. Oh no, Baptiste equalises. 
Right, half time, one all. I think we'll just carry on where we left off. Look at the match stats. We are well ahead. They've scored with their only shot. And there we go. Ken Charlery puts us 2 1 up. It's all about holding it out now. Right, let's make a change. So Marsh isn't playing very well. So I think I'm going to bring Mickey Brown on. Let's just have a look at his attributes. Yeah, he's a good dribbler. Bit of pace. Good teamwork. So a good sub to bring on. Right, can we hold on as we almost go into stoppage time? And there we go, 2-1 victory. We start off with a win. If we have a look at the table, so actually nobody drew. Every game was decided. Yeah, look at that. Plenty of goals. Let's have a look at what comes through. So Clifford is out for 10 days. Right, OK. We're going to leave that episode there. I'll skim forward a few games and we'll come back in about a month or so. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Uh -huh.